it's just so good. And especially against a sniper who can... It's naturally fairly slow. And now you also add a glimpse on top of that with, with like a Phantom Lancer rushing at him with Chen Creeps around. Wow, glimpse. Back onto LeBron. Spirit Lance, one more right click. Oh, he just makes it out. And actually TP's in towards the mid tower. So yes, rotating through with the Chen. Viver, one rock. Second rock hits on the Dendi. Beautiful micro from Viver. And uh, no Spirit Lance available, but just a big right click from Illidan. Will crystallize. So certainly fight ready at this point, despite there being an Aegis. And it looked like they were trying to use the element of surprise. Right after that, he just attempt to get a fight. Now, Kinetic Field gonna jump out. They will find the Disruptor. Ice Blast will hit point blank range onto FNG. He will be end up dropping. TK Phobos a little bit too tanky to pursue. And now from the back lines, Illigan gonna jump in alongside G. They do not have Exorcism for this fight, though. And then he's gonna be able to turn to the north and run. Now turns around, going in onto G. Epicenter gonna fly through. Really only connects onto DK Phobos. The Burrow Strike is onto two, though, and nobody touching Dendi as he has free reign in the back to take out G's Aegis. General hanging around, saying, Sandstorm is there, DK Phobos teeping in towards the Shrine, G gonna pop the BKB, but taking so many right clicks from the Sniper, he is able to back into the Fog, however, and now DK Phobos trying to jump up towards the Sniper, Illidan jumping forward with the Silver Edge, Dendi turning and completely running, Break is there onto the Marana, one more right click will take out Crystallize, and overall, Spirit are able to withstand it looks like the press from Navi, but Illidan in trouble now, does not have the cheese, and he's just going to end up dropping. Now, coming through is Dendi with the Assassinate, connects onto DK Phobos, he needs to get into the fight. Shrapnel will be there to slow them for a moment. FNG in trouble, he's going to glimpse back Dendi, but not before he dies. And now Rubik as well for Lil, trying to run away, will drop down the uh, Firestorm and make his way out. Spirit Lance available for Lil. Oh, the Crypt Swarm nicely placed by G. No he's going to be able to get the kill. Double damage ring bottom as well. Oh, that's huge if they manage to jump down, especially if Illidan runs into them. Illidan gonna look to find the sniper, they'll try and glimpse him back, but Illidan in trouble, they force out of the static storm, arrow connects! And they'll get the PL, Illidan just a little bit too quick for his teammates. And now they will be able to find DK Phobos, he's instantly gonna charge up the Dark Rift, but he is gonna shatter before he can get it off. Now Biver forcing forward, trying to save his Underlord, is also gonna be yeah. taken out. Navi's gonna melt through the rest like butter. 30 seconds until Illidan's PL is back. General gonna hit a three-man burrow. Ice Blast will not really connect, but they bring down the Disruptor immediately. General gonna be able to make it back into his Yules. G in trouble. Jumping forward is Crystallized. Looking for the right clicks. Not gonna be able to get him. Lift up into the air onto the Underlord. And Burrow Strike will not connect as he is able to bring back his chance for the AA. But they'll make the rotation up towards a, a very key target in Illidan's PL on the low ground. And General, with a little bit of cold feet there, is going to blink away. Illidan looks like he'll be able to make it away. They're fighting around this shrine here. Snag Storm doesn't really catch on to anyone. Chilling Effect will be onto a couple of heroes, but Crystallize is completely in the front lines, tanking all this damage with his Aegis. General, now in the corner, is going to be able to use himself up. Static Storm is there onto the respawning uh, Crystallize Marana. General forced to jump out to the east, but from the high ground, Dendi still right-clicking away, is going to get down the PL and the Underlord. And now G out by his lonesome is going to be Yule's up and we've seen this time and time again when you leave a sniper unchecked you can kill the rest of his lineup but he will make you pay and crystallize doing what he's done no big deal <laughs> takes up the tier three without a a whimper from the enemy aeon that's going to be popped onto g general going to go in with the bro strike double shivas are popped from both sides e blade going to keep him safe he will get glimpsed back however into the static storm he's going to be able to use himself up ice blast going to fly through connect onto three though and dendi just plinking away at dk phobos they now burrow strike up the underlord lift him into the air hand of god not sure it's enough to save him the send back for now will keep him alive and dendi will begin to right click into the racks Nothing really of major value expended from Navi. The Ice Blast will be available again in 15 seconds. And now Epicenter, well, Makes flying so through space. on the north side, is going to uh, force G to pop the BKB. General going to be glimpsed back. Yules up into the air as the cores work on the PL bottom lane. Illidan, a couple of leaps forward on Crystallize and gets the right clicks in in time. And Dendi still surviving in the back line. Crystallize gets the uh, cheese off in time as well. And General just playing out of his mind in this late game with these Burrow Strikes.
Uh, buyback comes out on Chen, but it seems like a little bit too little, too late for Spirit as their PL down for 60 seconds without a whimper. And G is going to be burrowed up. Second lane of Rock's going to be taken out here. And now going to Yules himself up into the air on the DP. Gets sent back, but General going to clean up the uh, top lane. And desperation time for Team Spirit as they make a smoke over towards their shrine. Will be taken out. Illidan going to jump forward onto Crystallize. Crystallize holding the BKB for now will end up popping it, as does Illidan. And Dendi going to try and get some distance now. But G really jumping forward onto him. Four Staff will not bring him to the high ground, but he does get... Placed under invisibility by the Moonlight Shadow. Still, though, Dendi in a lot of trouble here. Yule's up into the air, and they will be able to take out the Sniper. Now, General going to fly through with the Epicenter. Arrow does does connect onto DK Phobos. They'll buy back on Dendi and look to end the game here as he'll begin to right-click away. General still very healthy here. Will E-Blade himself, but forced back. He's actually going to be brought down. And now the cancelled TP from the AA. Dendi going to be glimpsed back, it seems, as he TP'd back in off buyback. And now G pressing song. forward. Crystallized though, forced up and glimpsed back again. Bye, and this disruptor paying dividends in the ultra late game. Showing the front. E Blade onto the PL, gonna force out the doppelganger. Now G pops the exorcism, gets a couple of men silence off, and now forced back onto Dendi. He's trying to get distance here. PL up in his face. Ice Blast will connect though onto the PL. Doppelganger is there. Illidan gonna completely turn and run from this fight. Moonlight Shadow is gonna be there onto Dendi, but he's slowed up. And the Shivas is there. Dendi in trouble, gets glimmered for a moment. Will be brought down, but the Epicenter finds a return kill onto the Underlord and the Chen G though, pressing forward for more. Has his BKB expired? Crystallize gonna lose the Aegis for now. And LeBron going to force himself away to, well, momentary safety as he's taken out. Arrow's going to fly out, connects onto G, but they can't really press forward onto him. Lil going to use the refresher shard and make it away. Had the stolen exorcism for a moment, but just couldn't Eagle survive. Arrow will hit onto an illusion. Ice Blast going to fly through. Going to be dodged out completely by the uh, spirit lineup. Jump forward, epicenter, E-Blade. Going to try and take out the disruptor. They will be able to get him. Burrow Strike will be there. They try oh, and force him away. Illidan, he's been isolated out and he's left for dead. As a beautiful four staff play from General is going to bring the PL Let's go back. To Keeping onto the uh, Wild Wing is DK Phobos. He'll catch an arrow though. Epicenter going to fly through as well. Ice Blast is there. He's a bit isolated out as Phobos, but gets the four staff up to the high ground. Dendi now in trouble as G and Illidan look to pursue oh, him. Lil. Lil with the TPing out gets Dendi back to base, but now he's left the rest of his lineup here as Crystallize going to be glimpsed back into his death and right in front of the Roche pit. Instant buy back here. And a cheese in hand. Stolen well. again. Arrow Double disconnect. bullseye. Oh, Epicenter coming out. And they are look are going to find the Disruptor on the East. Blow him up instantly. G going to pop the BKB. Jump forward with the Stolen Exorcism from Lil. He's going to be thrown up into the air. But they have enough to keep him protected. And now they will pursue forward. Silence ending for General. He's under the cover of Invisibility. Finds a Burrow Strike onto the Underlord. Penitence will be there onto the Sand King. And now a BKB pop from Illidan. He'll fly in and shred the AA. But the PL in trouble as well. As his BKB expires. Hand of God going to come through. E-Blade defensively used onto General. He will burn strike up the uh, underlord but will pay for his sins as he goes down Bullseye. biggest problem for spirit right now seems to be this bottom lane of creeps meanwhile mid lane they are going to go in assassin is going to take out the underlord who had bought back g up in the front lines crystallize going to be glimpsed back into the static storm he's taking a ton of damage and will be brought down instantly buys back hand of god is going to be there general going to pursue forward with a two-man burrow strike looks like fng in trouble is going to be forced back uh, to safety lil cannot take him out as he's sent back by chen and general does go down yule scepter up onto lil but he's isolated in front of g shiva's guard will take out the rubik Meanwhile, on the north side, it looks like they were able to get the PL down. Dendi, Hurricane Pike up onto G. He's going to be hexed up, however. Biver jumping forward with his Death Prophet. Dendi in trouble here. And it looks like he will end up dropping Ancient Creep from oh, the Biver. Oh, he has BKB. And he takes out G. <laughs> Glimpse is going to be there from FNG. He'll turn and kill off the uh, Disruptor Ultra Kill for Dendi. And that's a dieback. Ice Blast going to fly out. Illidan is there, however, and will get Dendi. He has a buyback oh, available, is. though. And walks away to the safe arms of his Underlord. Now looking for Crystallize here. 
And they will be able to find him with the Hex. Crystallize in a lot of trouble. is going to get melted. His buyback is available. Meanwhile, Static Storm connects onto Dendi in the back lines. They're looking to pressure him forward. E-Blade was there from General, but Dendi going to drop as well. He does not have buyback. Rapier on the deck. This could be it for Navi in the upper bracket. General gets a couple of a couple man burrow strike off. They do take out FNG. Illidan in a little bit of trouble, but will be able to back off and reset. G still in the front lines. It should be it should be the seventh one. But I'm not sure at this point, and I know. General TPing in mid. Goes for a blink forward, finds a burrow oh. onto one. He's hexed up instantly. Static Storm is there as well. Could be the beginning of the end for Na'Vi, as Dendi not really even in position to start fighting. Crystallize does get a right click, some right clicks off and finishes off the Disruptor. They'll buy back the PL here, though. Ice Blast finishes off DK Phobos. Again, all the buybacks are available for the Radiant. Na'Vi looking to extricate themselves from any further Midlane. danger. Viver comes in and finds General, but he doesn't really have much support as now G gonna jump forward with the uh, hasted exorcism looks for the Shivas trying to take down general and will be able to get him 99 seconds on the silence but does have buyback crystallized now looking to reset with his unit cold feet gonna proc on a couple of team spirit heroes glimpse back hex crystallized in trouble gonna get glimmered and forced away a couple of times now lift up onto the dp illidan taking a few right clicks cold feet was gonna proc they can't bring him down though and assassinate will be dodged by the yule scepter bkb doppelganger there from illidan now on the north side they'll hex up the sand king once again general is gonna die as a pig now glimpse back dendy gonna dodge it with the uh BKB, Exorcism popped once again. Arrow going to fly out, not going to connect on anything significant. G going to start to put work into the uh, tier 4s. There's no split push play available for Na'Vi. They get the Nullifier off onto the Sniper, but he's able to be forced onto the high ground. Cheese is going to be popped by Marana, but Crystal is still in trouble here with the Pit of Malice Root, keeping her in place. Still, though, objective gaming as Team Spirit work on the Tier 4 as Ice Blast is going to connect onto 2. But on the north side, Lil in trouble. Illidan going forward onto the Sniper. Dendi's going to be brought down. He buys back immediately. They're starting to work on the throne, though. And do they have an answer for this just yet? Kofi going to be propped by LeBron. They need to be able to take out Illidan and G. They haven't been able to do it. And Team 97 minutes and 45 seconds into the game are going to... Bump Navi down to the lower bracket.